So you want to write a beautiful blog and you want everyone on Google to read your blog, you are at the right place. In this video, we are going to be discussing about how to write a blog exclusive for beginners. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is blog topic. Make sure people want to read about the topic you are going to write for. Now the second thing you have to do is create a dump yard. Yes, dump all your ideas, keywords, topic you have, images you have that you want to showcase on your blog in one Google Doc. Just everything you want to. So once you decided the topic and created a dump yard and dumped all the content you have in your mind for that particular blog, now it's time to create reader's persona. This step is very important. This will decide how your blog is going to sound and the language of your blog. If you don't know how to create reader's persona, I have linked beautiful blog down below in the description so you can refer that. Now after creating reader persona, what you have to do is keyword research. If you don't want to play a football without a goalpost, do keyword research. What your target audience is searching on Google. Check keywords with good search volume and medium or low competition. Select one primary and two or three secondary keywords. Make sure to maintain one to two percent keyword density, which means one to two keywords in every hundred words. Disclaimer, please don't do keyword stuffing. It doesn't work in the now. So after you did keyword research, what you have to do is write catchy and relatable headline slash title. Make sure to mention your primary keyword in your headline. You can use numbers or emotional adjectives on your headline like fun, free, effortless, etc. You can also make promises, but make sure you delivered what you promised. So once you are done with your headline, now it's time to write the superb crisp intro. You need to sound very empathetic in your introduction, like you really understand what is going in their mind. You can also mention their pain points with questions they have in their mind. Let's take an example. You can write something like, are you looking for best mobile phone under 20,000, which includes all the latest features and have DSLR like camera. So make sure to mention all the things you think they have in their mind. So once you are done with your introduction, now it's time to frame problem statement. This is very important step. Once you caught their attention by introduction and headline, now it's time to show them the real movie. They saw your trailer, but now let's make them watch the full movie. Anyone who is searching on Google and reading a blog come up with a specific problem statement or a query or a doubt. Frame the problem with the impact of the problem that they are going to face. And in the other hand, make sure to mention that how exactly this blog is going to solve all the problems they have from this particular topic. Now you did keyword research, you are done with your headline, intro and problem statement. Now it's time to move into the body. Now there are a few things which we have to keep in mind while writing blog body. Number one is keep short paragraphs. I mean who likes to read long text instead of short paragraphs. Second thing is include subheading, H2, H3 and so on. Third is include pointers. This will help readers to digest and remember your blog very easily. Include infographic. Trust me guys, this will really help you to stand out from the other's blog. You can show stats, facts and many other things about that particular topic. Plus, this will help your blog to look very sophisticated and well formatted. Ultimately, the most important thing is give resolution because that's why they are here, right? Make sure to give actionable solution for the problem statement. So once you are done with your keyword research, headline, intro, body, problem statement, now it's time to conclude. Conclude with beautiful CTA and give them a reason to come back to your website. You can refer to your other blogs or ask them to subscribe to your newsletter or ask them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Please subscribe. So here you are done with writing your blog. Now it's time to check the quality of the blog. To do the quality check, what you have to do is read your blog loud. 
After you check the tonality of the blog, it's time to check the grammar. Once you check the grammar, check plagiarism with premium tool like Copy Escape. This will give you a new point of view and make your writing and blog better. So this was it guys. In this 10 steps, we learned about how to write an intro, how to do a keyword research and many other things. And one bonus announcement for all the freelance writer and designers out there. My Content Cafe is running a mastermind program where we collaborate with freelancers like you guys. I have mentioned the link below in the description from where you can register yourself in our mastermind program and let's collaborate. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel that is My Content Cafe. Till then, keep writing.